Hey, Frank Gusterson here with the Leaders Bookshelf, and I just finished reading John Maxwell's 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. Those books that you can't just read at one time. I've got probably three or four copies of the book, and it's funny because I keep going back to the book, and I'll and I and I, after I read it, I compare this one that I read versus one that I read earlier and a lot of the things that I underline and highlight are in totally different places and different things and I think that that's just a function of well it's a function of growth it's a function of perspective right I love this book I really love this book I love a lot of the stuff that John Maxwell does but this is really a powerful book this is the 15 invaluable laws of growth and I really believe that growth is so incredibly important who wants to just stagnate in life we all want to grow we want to get farther we want to do more things we want to help more people we want to you know uh, really take our lives to the next level and John's book talks about these 15 laws and I just want to tell you what they are real quick there's the law of intentionality the law of awareness the law of the mirror the law of reflection the law of consistency the law of environment the law of design the law of pain the law of the latter the law of the rubber band, the law of trade-offs, oh, I've had a lot of those. The law of curiosity, the law of modeling, the law of expansion, and the law of contribution. You know, I really believe that growth is, it's really an individual thing, but the principles involved in growing and growing yourself are really, they're universal. The principles are universal. The, the laws are universal. And I think that you can apply these 15 laws in just about any area of your life where you want to kind of take things to the next level. The book really meant a lot to me. I'm The last book that I read, uh, the, if you listen to that episode or watch that episode, was about the book, One Word That Can Change Your Life or That Will Change Your Life. So one of the words that I'm really working through actually came up in this book and as I was kind of contemplating and going through the process from the from the previous book this word just kept popping up in fact it popped up in the very first in the very first law the law of intentionality and then I, I was sitting there in as I was reading the book I was sitting there in the living room talking to my wife and really talking about maybe what my word might be and really kind of being open to some guidance and open to some some of her wisdom for sure and i look over on my nightstand or on not, not on my nightstand but on the stand next to my my chair there in the living room and i just gotten a brand new john maxwell book one that i pre-ordered that came in and i can't wait to dig into this one but it's the law of intentional living and this is john's latest book so the the cool thing was the word that I'm working on is is in being intentional for the next year and it pops up in the first chapter of this book it pops up in the in the uh, in the title of the the book that I just got and I really believe that intentionality is so incredibly incredibly important I and I as I went through I was um, I was contacted to do a keynote for a dinner. And I wanted to do something on the law of the 15 laws because I'm working on potentially putting together a mastermind on this. And this this person asked me to come and speak regarding how to, you know, growing your business as a as a business owner who speaks, you know, using speaking as a as a tool to grow your business. And I really keyed on keyed in on this law of intentionality. And there's some gaps that kind of keep you from being intentional in your life and John really talks a lot about those gaps there's eight of them the assumption gap the knowledge gap the timing gap the mistake gap the inspiration gap the comparison gap the expectation gap and I really found myself as I was going through that really digging in to uh, um, understanding kind of kind of what has held me back potentially here in the over the last several years at least and uh, and this really really resonated with me it really rang true with me I would encourage you if you've got any kind of desire to grow and to take your life to the next level or take your business to the next level or take whatever it is that you do take a hobby to the, take whatever it is that you do to the next level I would encourage you to grab a copy of John Maxwell's 15 invaluable laws of growth 
They're universal laws. They'll work with just about anything it is that you're doing, that you're working on, that you want to grow on. And kind of in, in closing, I think that you really have to, you have to understand what your purpose is. You have to understand, you know, what it is that you want to communicate. You want to, you've got to understand as a business owner who it is that you want to communicate with and how you want to communicate with them. And then you have to go back to your personal growth plan. If you don't have a personal growth plan, get the book, set yourself up in a personal growth plan. And, then, and you have to go back and you have to answer those four questions. Uh, what is my purpose? What is it that I want to communicate? Who do I want to communicate it with and how do I want to communicate it? And you have to answer those four questions with your personal growth plan. So I highly encourage you to check this book out. If you haven't, if you've read it before, dig it out and read it again. If you've never read it, go to Amazon, go to Barnes & Noble, wherever it is that you go, get the Kindle book, whatever it, is that, whatever it is that you do to consume this kind of information and grab a copy of John Maxwell's 15 invaluable laws of growth. Hey, until next time, keep turning those pages. We'll see you in the next episode.